Hi everyone, welcome back. Storm here, about to watch more Fear the Walking Dead. I'm starting season three. Last season was incredible. I'm still in shock on what happened to Chris, Travis murdering those kids for killing his son, Madison finally choosing to leave with Travis, Victor staying behind, Nick going to this base full of hope with all these people from the Colonia and Lucy, getting attacked by what looked like the military or something. I believe Lucy was injured. So let's get into this episode and I will discuss it afterwards. How long have they been on the road for? Probably not long. Holy crap. Oh man. Were they headed towards the same area that freaking Nick and his people went to? Oh, are these them? Oh no! Oh, it's just not safe anywhere. Holy crap. I doubt they were walkers. I think they were just people being murdered. You'd think military base. Oh, safe place. Nope. Crap. Travis is always so brave. I'll find you, like, trying to keep her calm. Crap. 42. We're gonna make you a soldier. Oh my god, it's gonna murder him. What, you're useless? They just kill you? Oh, Nick is there! And Lucy, she's alive. Holy crap! And you can't act. Oh god. He sees you. Same time they open their eyes. Well, I'm glad they see each other, but they're all in a bad spot right now. This freaking sucks. The military, they're probably well trained. If they are all mil military, they're dressed like it, and they have a bunch of weapons there. Chris. Oh, man. That's a lot of news right there. That is heavy. Who's that? <laughs> so confident. Travis can do anything. <laughs> the hand. <laughs> and I'm alive. Anything? Why separate them? So, what happens to us after we're processed? Oh, well. I mean, I don't want to send you ladies out to slaughter, but I mean, you get this squared away, you get supplied. Off you go. Yeah, right. Supplied really good. Good. Not eyes. Whoa, you see him changing. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that's a uh, resurrection at 17, 17 hours working out. So they were trying to figure it out? They're just gonna experiment, kill everybody, and see how long it takes them to turn. Not savage. That's that's good to hear. This woman needs attention. Yeah, she'll be taken care of. It might take Lucy sooner to see how long it'll take her to turn. This is terrible. Sneaky. Very nice. She's getting good with that. Just 
you have to. You saved Travis. I just need someone strong enough to back me. You're the first big person they left. Wow. Stay close to me. I don't trust it. Don't do it. Oh no, now you have to react. You have to work now. Crap. We're in front of him? Oh my god. Oh my god. They'll never know. God, look how stone cold he is now. He's lost so much. What is the reason? Oh man. Like, why are they staying there? What are they planning to do? How you gonna help us out of here in your condition? So got a strong will to live. No one's listening no to them? She is. I give a shit about her. She's family and you're not. Oh, he just says that because she's with him. Wow, this is terrible. And Travis just is so emotionless, like, not even phased. He's watching their technique. Or just doesn't care. Wow. Oh, what you doing is criminal, but it doesn't matter. It matters. Someone dies, it matters how long it takes to resurrect before you put a bullet in your How long you can sit with your loved one. Stealing their Before they come back, That's what you did, right? Come on, what you doing is pointless. You, you, you're pointless. Okay, doing this is a second. The rest, no, what rest? Once we don't come down here, do they know what you're doing? They know, but it's on a volunteer basis. So why? Why don't they volunteer? Because they're afraid. What they don't know. Well, it's a goddamn dark ages out there. He's good at this. Science. Murder for science. Yes, not a new concept. <laughs> Come on, be honest. Since this whole thing began, did you have him killed? He's gonna use him. You haven't murdered anybody. Mm. You think I deserve it? Oh, oh, oh. Maori. Maori, yeah. Oh, I hope not. It's just a distraction. Holy crap, now he's tied up so he can't get out. He's tied up though. Oh no. Okay, got the other guy. Alright, good job guys. Whoa. Great work. Wow, Travis. Crap, he's right out in the open. No. Go, go, go. Crap, got him. Oh my god. Well, that sucked. Oh, he's gonna fall in. Dang. What did they went first? He didn't want to become one of them. Happy hunting. The one thing he didn't want. Stab. Oh, so close. Oh, man. Oh, my God. 
There's no way she'd be able to overpower him. Oh no, Spoon! Whoa! Ew! Ew! Oh, sick of a scoop of hell! <laughs> well, Madison! Oh, sick, she's gonna pop right out! Oh, no! Ew! Ew! Oh, God! That's another level! <laughs> oh, sick! <gasps> I really hope he doesn't die. Oh, this is so sick! <laughs> I can't take it. Holy crap, Madison! Oh my god, this is so horrific! He's totally gonna be blind in that eye. Wow, Travis! He won't have time to just take the Gora Vaughn and camouflage himself. Come on, Travis! Wow, he's amazing. Impressed. Mr. Mowry. Nice throw. They're gonna shoot you. Oh my god. They're gonna shoot her. Oh, sick, did she pull? Did he pull the spoon out? We don't hurt women. So, Lucy, because she's injured, that's why she was there. Oh, crap, she's not going to make it out. That's the other guy. Oh man. Oh. Oh, Alicia, I'm gonna save them. I'm gonna see Nick this way. I hope he doesn't get bit. I just thought he'd be safe. So close. No. Oh God! Yeah. Oh. Crap! Crap! They honored their word. They're really gonna honor that? Why they brought them all? They're just listening to her? Oh, wow! Oh. But Lucy... We need our guns back. I mean, these bad people were following Troy's orders and murdering a bunch of innocent people to experiment, and now it's like all peaceful on the other side. It's like, what? So curious events right there. I'm gonna grab you. What the hell?
<laughs> oh, don't look through it. Oh, someone's gonna stab you. <laughs> You're so curious. Grab him. Whoa! Ew, so many rats! What? Holy crap! Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, seriously, he got you. Oh, man. Gross. He's going to pull you right in. He's strong. He's motivated. Oh, his face. Ew. I had to be a variant. That was a strong freaking walker. Bend his head back. Broke through the wall. I'm impressed that he's actually a good guy. He's just helping out. What about Madison and Nick? Now they're going to be separated? Or die? He's helping. He's helping? Holy crap. I thought someone was going down. Separated again. Well, at least she's with Nick, but with Troy. And it's so sad. Like, is that all of Colonia? Like, there's no one left? I'm impressed they got out of this the way they did and safe in a helicopter with a gun. I did not see that happening. We're not friends with the CRM, though. I was hoping to see variants in this show. I don't know if that was supposed to be a variant or not that pulled that soldier through the wall. But sometimes the walkers, I know they can rip up people very easily but sometimes the way they tear people up i'm like that takes a bit of strength especially someone alive they're not rotting out and the fact that that walker i mean it looked like he was festering in that wall for a while hence all the freaking rats around him you know and he just pulls the sky through the wall breaks through the wall it didn't look like the wall was breaking down or anything so sheetrock it takes a bit of strength to get through it and or laugh but i think that was sheetrock and um to actually pull a full-grown man through the wall and snap his neck back that i think i know we're fragile beings but i think that would take a whole lot of strength so i'm gonna assume that was some kind of variant walker that had super strength he had an upgrade because he was festering for so long that he just mutated into something different i'm glad to see that Nick reunited with his family under unfortunate bad circumstances. You know, Madison with Troy, Nick is with her. Um, I'm impressed that Troy's listening to his brother. I'm glad his brother is a nice guy. And other military people seem to be good. But it confused me for a bit because I know you change in the apocalypse and you can be pretty freaking messed up. And these soldiers making excuses to murder innocent people making excuses saying that they're injured they're gonna die anyways which I think most of them there were not going to die they were just choosing to kill them um, to see when they would turn I get you have to learn but that's not the way to do it that was awful and to have all that bad going on and they're loud kidnapping these people bringing them to the base and the good military people that 
are not even aware of this happening or they're just turning a blind eye to it like that was confusing to me and not until Madison stood up were they like oh, okay we're gonna listen to you um, and then they had free range of the base and supplies and a ticket to get out of there like just a complete turnaround where I was like, wait, what, what's going on here? But, um, okay, so to see Troy and his brother, to see the contrast of them being so differently and his, his brother trying to help Troy, like, I'm glad there's some good there. And Troy seems to struggle mentally. He seems mentally unstable. And he kept talking to Madison and Alicia in that interrogation room in that office saying, like, I'm not a bad person. I, I am a good person. Like, he's justifying in his head like what he's doing with people to experiment by killing them, murdering them, like that's okay. And I'm gonna help out people that seem innocent or because they're women, I don't know why he separated them because they weren't injured. Travis, I knew like he was bloody. Maybe they strictly look at people and see that you're injured and then put you in to the kill group. Um, and just because they didn't look injured, that's the only reason why they separated them the way they did. But yeah, I mean, I know I criticized Madison a lot. I liked her more in this episode. Her strengths really shined. Holy crap. I mean, I, eyes in general are very, don't go for the eyes because that's so freaking disturbing. I can't take it. Um, a next level shocking moment for Madison to stab his eye. I mean, she was probably going for like the soft areas or just like swing in because she was behind him, right? When she was swinging the spoon over and you're just kind of working with what you got. But how she improvised stabbing the eye, just thinking maybe soft or just happened to get his eye and then leaving the spoon there to scoop it out. If he moved wrong, <sighs> an extra level of violence and disgusting grossness oh my god like that just got to me so bad there's a lot of terrifying violent things in the walking dead and i just never have seen that before so for madison to carry on with that holding him hostage threatening everyone to get her way i mean it was a smart play that's the only one she had and it was a strong one so the fact that i don't know if he's gonna if troy's gonna be able to see out of that eye but you know um yuck you know when she pulled I guess a spoon out because he did scream and, she, and we heard the sound effect of the spoon coming out but the scene happened so quick I thought maybe the spoon broke in his eye and she just released it um, but I really wasn't sure how he was gonna get help if they had an actual doctor that knew what he was doing with eyes to remove it but I don't think Troy's gonna be able to see out of that eye after what happened um, so anyways yeah I really um, like Madison's leadership skills a bit or survival skills this episode Alicia I really like I think she's a strong character um, you know she's very level headed and you know I'm glad she kept the knife and quickly reacted and did the right thing by hiding the knife it didn't work exactly in their favor when Madison tried to jump Troy but you know her survival instincts were there Nick and Lucy great couple um, I love Travis and Nick seeing each other, unfortunately, again, in a, in a bad place, but, um, you know, and saying that we're family, they're my family, and not knowing Lucy, but knowing they're together and just immediately accepting her as family. Like, that says a lot. And Travis, I feel so bad for him. I'm still shock, shocked about with Chris, I mean, him dying so quickly, things like that happen in the apocalypse, but still, like... I just didn't see him going that fast in this show, but what a way to change Travis's character. I mean, from this compassionate guy to this like cold, hard, not conniving, but like he's just numb right now. Like he still loves Madison. He cares a lot for Nick and his family. He's seen family a lot in this episode, or at least I heard a couple times, you know, um, but he, emotions are just numb. Like, he's just so focused right now, and or, or giving up too, but he's just like people getting shot in front of him, him not responding that much. I mean, that was shocking to see. Understandable since he killed those two boys, but yeah. So I'm glad um, he listened to that one guy, and they all escaped together. The guy died in a way he didn't want to die. He didn't want to come back as a walker, unfortunately. That's what happened. And Lucy really, I mean, scary enough, 
I thought she was going to die in this episode because she wanted to be left behind. She really cares for Nick and, you know, she gets it. She is not in La La Land. She understands she's not doing well and she's going to slow him down. So to sacrifice herself and try to push him to go, like, that was just really sad to me, but just shows how brave she is. And um, But I have hope now that she'll survive, you know, after she received a little bit of help at the end. But I don't know. Good episode. I am crushed about Colonia. I'm assuming most of them are dead. They were all there at the base or the ones that tried to walk there. Um, were all probably shot and killed and it was just absolutely terrible. So let me know what you thought of this episode. Um, very intense. I like the action and now they're leaving together. What's the next step? So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.